Big Mama Dumba. Hey, hey, my name is Nala Like the Lion King, and this is my channel, DV Nala, done by Nala. Um, happy New Year, happy new you, whatever you celebrate, just happy, I guess. How are you guys? I haven't seen you guys like forever. I think it's been a few weeks now um this month is january journals and if you don't know me i'm a mental health creative artist and we do a lot of art that revolves around that exact topic mental health so if you like this don't forget to comment like subscribe all of that good stuff and i'm gonna jump in i'm excited i got some new canvases i've been like dying to do some different type like canvas styles but i don't know how to like stretch my own canvas and i don't know if i trust myself with those type of tools take it out I don't even know how to use a staple gun. There we go. There we go. No, no. Nope. But like, I don't... It was bad. So I'm a little reluctant on making my own canvases. I definitely want to try though. But my mom's got me some canvases during the holidays and I was so happy. They're circle. I got circle canvases. I'm so excited. Like I love different shapes and stuff. I just don't know, but I'm gonna have fun with these. My stock is very low. I was gonna do oil paint, but I have to buy oil paint. So I'm gonna do acrylic for now and figure out how to find some red acrylic paint because your girl is out of it. But I'm gonna try, no complaining. My new year's resolution was basically to worry about the present not the past if that makes sense so like i'm trying to think about my current situations now instead of my dwelling on the past if that makes sense also i'm starting my lock journey no. i'm excited about that let me know if you had a new year's resolution revolution resolution is it resolution or revolution either way i got these canvases i'm just i'm so grateful thank god first off also you guys i have a p.o box I'm official. Oh yeah, that's definitely the coolest I ever saw. I bought a P.O. box during the holidays because I wanted to, you know, change things up. So if you want to send me letters and stories, oh my gosh, you guys can actually literally send me your dreams. Oh, that would be so cool. I'm going to drop my P.O. box in the bio of the video. What is it called? The YouTube description, whatever the case may be. Just send me your ideas. Like, I'm just excited. I'm just so excited. I feel like a P.O. box is what I really, really needed for the longest. So I'm proud. All right. So I don't know how I'm feeling today. I'm going to type it up because I didn't charge my Apple Pencil for my iPad. Oh, brother. So we're going to just be using Microsoft Word. Right now, how am I feeling? Um, at this moment, Raw materials, raw materials, y'all. I'm feeling, feeling worried. Um, let's not make this up to line. Um, I'm feeling worried, anxious. Did I spell anxious? Don't ask me. Pressured. Definitely pressured. Okay, so those are the three words I'm feeling for right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm doing a different way. I'm gonna actually go back into these words and I'm gonna just kind of type underneath it why I feel that way with those words. So I'm gonna change the color to orange. I feel worried because I don't know if I can, if I can manage this year. I don't know if I can manage this year. All right, so let's go into anxious. So I'm feeling anxious, um, hesitant to start, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Heza. See, I shouldn't have done the words because I feel like I'm about to get judged. Heza, hesitant. Oh gosh, this is terrible. I have to read more. I feel hesitant to start because I don't want to F up too badly. Okay, now I'm feeling pressured. I'm feeling pressured because I feel like other people are handling this so beautifully to be honest like should i be struggling like you know what i mean like d am i doing something wrong i feel like that's the biggest thing like because other people seem fine that's exactly what i feel okay so let's further branch this out Okay, so my camera died, I didn't charge it quite yet. Um, so I'm just gonna continue on my iPad. 
But yeah, all right, so let's get into the creating of the given idea. So strangely enough, I've had this dream that I painted a while ago when it kind of comes hand in hand and it's a piece that has a lot of literal pressure like in the face and it's in my sketchbook if you guys want to see this. Let me see. Okay, I'll go. I have a few things, just not like that. Okay, found it. So this is an old dream that I had, low-key giving sleep paralysis, but this kind of idea goes hand in hand with this January journaling. And basically this dream is about a lot of pressure that just builds up into my body. And so I literally blow up. Can't breathe through my nose, my eyes are tender, like it's just really crazy. Let's see which canvas I'm gonna use. So probably one that's not super duper square. I'm gonna go for this size. It's like the perfect portrait size. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this piece ready and I'm gonna make a wash. So let's see, where's my phone? Oh, my handy dandy pocket. Um, I have my ideas, I have my picture. We're gonna start. Okay, as usual, we're gonna start off with just a sketch to kind of layer everything out. I use a very small brush. It's not really tiny, tiny, but it's a good kind of brush to like map out everything. Um, I'm kind of starting off a little rocky, which I usually do. It's okay if it's rocky. I, I kind of like going for the rougher sketches a little bit, um, but it comes together. It comes together. Just wait on it. Okay, so we're gonna get into a wash. I'm gonna go for a reddish wash. So I'm gonna get a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, then a little bit of red, then a little bit of blue. Kind of going back and forth here, but it's okay, it's okay. So the whole wash thing, you guys can tell I haven't been painting in a while, to be honest. So I did that, but it looked too light. So I went back and went straight in with acrylic paint and I was like, oh, that's too solid. So I tried to wipe it off with my hands, didn't work. So I came back and got it with a palette knife and scraped it off. A lot of like moving parts with this. And I'm just on the wash, y'all. This is just already starting off. <laughs> just terrible, to be honest. Now, I know this looks a little weird the way I'm placing these colors because this type of portrait, I wanted to change things up because it was supposed to be like kind of two-toned, like two-toned, <gasps> two-toned with the face. Um, so let me just kind of explain the dream that this was technically based off of, but it went hand in hand with how I was feeling. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little story time real quick. It's not, it's, it's, it's not a long dream, but it reminds me a little bit of like sleep paralysis, I guess. I don't know. All right, so as you know in dreams, like I'm reading it like a book, you guys, story time. When you are actually ready to be awake and you're like in your body still and you can't like physically wake up. So th this was basically happening in this right now. I don't know if it's called a dream or whatever. I don't know. Like I was already awoken, but my body wouldn't move quite yet. It was weird. I was laying straight out with my hands overlapping. So I felt a lot of pressure, like maybe like circulation is weird. You know how sometimes if you sleep wrong, you can like feel yourself kind of suffocating by accident because you slept weird. So I have to be wary. Like if I fall asleep, I can't fall asleep in a weird position or I'll literally suffocate myself. Yeah, is it just me? I think it's just me, I don't know. So basically I have a lot of pressure in my eyes, building up, building up, and I'm just kind of like confused, I'm frustrated, and I can feel it kind of bubbling up into my eyes. So I try to wake myself up in my dreams by physically trying to open my eyes. Now, I, I think I talk about that a lot, like in my old Dreaming of December stuff, where if I want to wake up from a dream, I either jump into water, it can be a lake, a pool, a tub, anything or I can forcibly open my eyes in a certain way it's like either with my fingers or kind of just like close them real tightly and then open them up so that's how I kind of get out of my dreams sometimes so I'm trying that like I'm trying to lit like literally open my eyes in my mind so I'm still trying still trying still trying 
And the harder I tried, the more pressure it felt moving up into my eyes. And like, it started to slowly go into my face. So I'm like, at this point, kind of rolling around a little bit. Just a little bit, because I'm trying to like open my eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, what's going on? It's a lot of pressure, it feels hot right in my face now. At this point, I sit up, because I'm kind of like, okay, wait a minute, like, this is really uncomfortable now, like, this is a problem. Now I'm feeling it like in my nose, in my mouth. Am I suffocating myself? Like, low key, like, what am I doing in the real world? Like, am I under a pillow? I don't know. I'm like this close when it comes to pillows. I see with my SpongeBob, don't judge me, I have like, literally three of them so that could have been it spongebob was probably suffocating me <laughs> i can't open my eyes the breathing is getting weird i can feel it all on my face so at this point like i'm i'm just terrified like i'm sitting straight up my eyes are squinched i can't move i'm like my nose is clogged up my mouth i can't open my mouth like my breathing is like it's like really forced right now like i, I can barely breathe and I'm terrified right now. My temples, like temples in my head are like banging. My ears are ringing. Like it's just like everything's going on right now, all in my head. I'm just, I'm terrified because I can't breathe at this moment. And then finally I wake up. So I wake up like Dracula to be honest, like straight up. I'm just kind of like, <sighs> like I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath y'all. So this is what this dream meant. So if we think about the original journaling, I was worried, anxious, pressured. That's exactly what I felt. I was terrified, worried, anxious, extremely anxious because I couldn't do anything. What do I do? I don't know what's coming up next. And I was pressured. All of it was in my face. So that's why I chose this one. But I didn't give myself an easy task. This is very hard. This is extremely hard. <laughs> This painting frustrated me so much, so much to the point of I wanted to give up. I was done. I didn't want to paint anymore today, the next day. I just did not want to do any of it. I didn't enjoy it. It was so much pressure to start a new year. It was just craziness. It was craziness. I sat in that corner for a while, to be honest. In a nutshell, I received a message from one of you supporters. They wanted to remain anonymous, but I couldn't just not think about this. They just reminded me how much I really do enjoy creating videos and sharing my process and sharing part of me to you guys. And that pushed me. And I got me some supplies. And it's 100% thanks to this individual here. And I just really appreciate them. And they are the reason why I'm actually even putting this video out today. So I just wanted to put that out there to explain that you guys are extremely important. Okay, so on that note, I got a few items from the store and I got me some brushes. This one is my favorite. My flat brush, as y'all can see. What a pal. And I got a pretty big, I can't pronounce it, Filbert, Filbert, Flippert, Filbert. Okay. And then I got a small one, just a tiny little precision brush. Precision brush. <laughs> precision brush for little tiny little eyelashes. If I want to go big, which I am going big, so I'm gonna need these brushes. Um, also, I love these brushes because they have longer handles, and I don't just have to like be up on the canvas like this. This, like, I can just like be like this. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like this close on it so uh, I also got this big old pizza slicer picker upper so this is a 13 size palette knife and I flip and love it I'm so excited I just want to smear the paint on just scoop it up like a slice it's big and I freaking love it look at this thing like like this is next on the list I've gotten BAM because if y'all know, your girl needed this badly. My paint, as you guys can see, like I smack my bottles a lot. I, I abuse them a lot. I, I understand that and I feel like this is the soft way 
to get what I want. You know what I mean? I don't want to keep wasting paint bottles because I don't know how to get the paint out and cutting it and all this crazy stuff. So I'm really happy I got these. I mean, they're like $5. So. Oh, my favorite. I got this really cool palette paper, but it's in the shape. Oh my gosh, excuse me. But it's in the shape of actual like palette. My finger fits perfectly right here. Other side. Wait. Yeah, there you go. It just fits perfect. Oh, I, I think I'm supposed to hold it like, like a, no, I don't think that's how it's supposed to be holding. I think it's this side. Either way, I got a palette. I have like literally like a couple left before it just died on me. So this one has like 50 sheets. So I'm just like, I got the big mama dumba. But it's the gray pad the gray pack like this is a new year you know what I mean and like I really want to switch things up and I guess just not hold back I don't know I'm taking more chances this year as y'all saw I started my entire painting over because I want to take chances if I don't want it I'm not gonna keep it I'm not gonna do it because I felt myself getting more angry as the hours went on angrier I was trying to not sit okay yeah I just didn't like it so we're gonna start off with the wash and I'm gonna use this other brush that I had which was a beautiful brush it's for like Mod Podge you know no Mod Podge I mean if I clean it good enough it should be fine also I almost forgot gonna go for like a dusty yellow background that makes sense like a very uh dusty yellow that's i don't know how other way to explain it but that's what i'm going for i got a screw ow if i stab it open enough it will be the perfect little hole fresh yeller fresh from the newer field you're your sporkiness oh i gotta do every pink okay give me a second two hours later a little bit of white a drop of Blue. I just want to do it. Mm, never mind. I need to add black. That's what I need to do. Add black to the yellow. Make it dusty. Then add the white. So that'll make it really dusty. A spot of red. So the colors I'm using are yellow, blue, red, white, and black. And I'm just gonna start making my darkest color right now. I don't want it to be straight black, but I want it to be enough where I can get some nice guidelines, even though that literally looks like straight black. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> um, I think the biggest shift I wanna think about right now as far as my video process and just getting into it i want things to be a little bit more relaxing you know what i mean like i told myself as a new year resolution that i would try to think about the current not the past and part of that is just taking things slow so there's no rush I really thought about the whole production aspect of things and how I was trying to drop every week every you know, like you know and I felt myself being in a time schedule I don't know I felt like I was rushing to relax you know and I gotta remember I made these videos because I wanted to be a therapy for me and I think I want to get back into that so if you want to take this time and create with me or I don't know take a nap <laughs> it's up to you guys I think I want to just practice taking things slow you know even that means taking a breather or sitting outside whatever the case may be I don't know things like those have helped me a lot so far starting this year nice So I decided to go to a different direction with this painting. Um, it's still the idea of a really tense face, kind of scrunched up face, worrisome and scared, nervous. That was those type of feelings inside. 
Um, I want this to be more so on the symbolic piece, um, more so as in like the whole surrealism. I'm not really good with the like the whole titles and topics and categories of paintings, but this one is definitely more um, symbolic than on my other pieces. Uh, but I did genuinely enjoy this more. I don't think I've ever made a face that looks as much like me as this one now, if I'm being honest all my flaws and everything, and I'm kind of in love with it. Just a little bit, just a little bit. As I keep working, as I usually do, I kind of build all of my lights all the way up and just really am trying to take my time and not get too light because I don't want to rush the process. Like I said, I'm taking my time, taking my time, and just kind of, kind of gives it a soft blend. I don't really want to talk too much of the process of it. So a few of the things that I talked about earlier about this piece was the idea of feeling that I can't manage this upcoming year. I feel like I feel like I take one step closer and it's like 3,000 new steps, if that makes sense. It's like when you start a new level, it's kind of like, I finally did it. And it's just kind of like, oh, well, now you're on level one of the 20th level. <laughs> it's like it's never ending. Like, I feel like there's just more and more and I'm like, I understand that's life. Life is about all the new things and challenges, short reward, then you keep going. And I feel like my art career has been that way. I feel like I can't keep up sometimes and I'm just so scared. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in a race and I'm just losing. And I think the whole screw component of my piece here kind of just reminds me of the idea that you know I'm prepared like I'm still gonna do it but like it's terrifying and it's painful <laughs> it's not easy and I feel like that's me entering into this new year not only year but new venture in my art career like I've been on YouTube for I think a little over a year now and now there's new humps like People kind of have a lot of anxiety for New Year's. This is kind of like, dang, we gotta do this all over again. And it's just like, I feel like I don't get that good momentum like I need until like midway in the year, if that makes like sense. So I think maybe that's one of the reasons why I had a hard time starting a painting. It was a really hard, hard artist block. And I have not been in the studio. I was in the holiday zone having New Year's and Christmas, our first time having holidays here in our home. So it was a lot, it was a lot. And honestly, I completely neglected my channel. I did miss you guys and I felt like things were missing, you know, and I said, I have to get back in the studio. I have to keep going. I think this painting, to be honest, represents the old me from last year. And I feel like I was very nervous and anxious to keeping to move on that's not even a phrase i was scared to move on i was scared to reach the goals that i set for myself i think i'm gonna end here for today and pick this back up at my next video because we painted a lot <laughs> um this is like what day is this this is january 12th and i started this the fourth I know, I know. That's not good. It's not good. I started recording January 4th and I am just now recording my outro. January 12th. So, slow and steady in the weeks, maybe? We are done for today. I will come back to this at a later notice, but what we have so far? This is the big kahuna. Ugh. So far. Just look like me. All right, this has been a long year. Honestly, long. What, what has it been, nine, seven days recording this video? So don't judge. But let me know how you feel about this video. If this is a cool idea to kind of slow things down a little bit, shift the focus a little bit. Um, but uh, y'all have a great night, day. Don't know when I'm posting this. I'm gonna gamble. Saturday, no, Sunday. I'm gonna guess Saturday. 6 p.m. Stamp it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
that's what I'm betting. If I am right, like it up. If I'm wrong, it's gonna block my account. Um, I just wanted to just put that out there that you guys are extremely important and I really appreciate you guys. And thank you all for coming along. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys later this month. I am. I'm gonna do another video. I promise. I will do another video. Don't forget. I'm gonna switch it up. Don't forget to clean your paint water. Because I know it's dirty. It's slush. Look at this muck. Ooh. Don't forget. To breathe. I'm serious. Don't forget to breathe. Don't 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 suffocate yourself at night falling asleep by accident with SpongeBob plush toys. Now that I got you right where I want you. Like and subscribe. <laughs>